and proclaim that it will be a life-changing experience for us. We pray for a safe journey for those who are on their way. We pray that those who are listening on the different social media platform, that everything will work well with the technology here and in their homes so that they can be equally blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, if you have not been given a decision card, each and every member, each and every person seated here this evening, you should have been given a decision card. If you have not been given one, just wave your hands and the ushers, the ushers will come and ensure that you get one. Just wave your hands if you have not been given one and the ushers will come and ensure that you have one. We're going to go right into our song service, number 279, 279. Come every soul by sin oppressed is mercy with the Lord, and he will surely give you rest by trusting in his word. Only trust him, only trust him, only trust him now. trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. And then you're going to keep your fingers on our next song which is number 368 because we're just going to flow right into it. So 216 right into 368 which is Watchman Blow the Gospel Trumpet. <laughs> Let's sing. When 
the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more. And the morning brings eternal bright and fair. When the saints of the shall gather to the holy of the shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I mean, sing when the roll, when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, I mean, What will it be 
we get to heaven, I don't know, I don't know what part I'm going to be singing. I don't know what instrument I'm going to be playing. But I know that I'm going to have a wonderful time up in heaven. What do you say? Amen. Let us all plan to be there. Um, this evening, we have a special gift for a special someone. Last night, we learned how to, how to what? To live your best life. And today, someone is celebrating a birthday. I don't know if, 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 if this, a birthday, is, is the best day. But we would have learned otherwise last evening. But nonetheless, a birthday is a special day. And we're going to ask that special someone to please come to the front. Uh, Sister Vernal Pear. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, and she's an usher, but she, she has taken off the, off the usher's uniform this evening. Oh my, okay, okay. All right, let's put our hands together for the birthday girl, okay. Can we just get a verse? Just a verse. started preaching since they elected me elder I stopped singing so <laughs> let's sing happy birthday for a sister pair better than to ask a lady how old she is. Amen, amen. Look, um, there is a decision card and each and every one should have one. If you have not been given one, just, just kindly wave your hand in the air and our ushers will ensure that you do have one. I want to remind us, I want to remind us that we continue tomorrow evening. There are Two sermons left in this series after tonight. And there's one more night sermon and that is tomorrow evening. But Sabbath, Sabbath, we're going to have a big celebration Sabbath here. What do you say? Let us plan to be here. Don't come alone. Invite someone with you. As a matter of fact, between now and then, it's about inviting, 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 inviting. And as we invite, let us not forget to pray. We're praying at 6 a.m. We're praying at noon. And we are praying at 6 p.m. So it is 6, 12, and 6. We'll be praying for the evangelists. We'll be praying for the crusade. We'll be praying for those who are in the valley of decisions. We are praying that individual who would have indicated that they're going to be here, that they will keep that promise. Amen. Now, now, sin is believing. And it, sin is believing. And I'm talking about walking on water, inspirations to impact and transform your life. Right? It's a good book on the outside. I haven't gone through it as yet. But it is written by the evangelist herself, Natasha Brown Aline. Now you have heard about it, you have seen it, and if you want to touch it, then you purchase one. Okay, so you can see the ashes. <laughs> you can see the secretarial death desk on the outside, and you can purchase your copy. And I'm saying to you, I'm taking the liberty. When you purchase your copy, 
you take it to the evangelist and tell her that Elder Joseph asks her to sign it. What do you say? Is that a deal? Is that a deal? And now it's not just for you because it would make a good gift. And I'm seeing a lady here with a gentleman beside her. What a shoe. Ladies, you got to purchase this book to see this shoe. What a what station shoe. You got to, come on. You have got to purchase this book and see if you can find one of these shoes. Okay, yes. So, it will make a good gift for you. Purchase one for yourself. I'm telling you, purchase one for yourself and one for a gift. Let us remember, on Sabbath, it's a Sabbath celebration Individuals will be making decisions on behalf of King Jesus Christ to seal their eternal salvation. Let us come out. Let us give us support. And the one of the good thing after is that we'll be having a celebration lunch. Okay? So lunch will be served after the baptism. But please remember, invite, invite, invite. And let us remember, six in the morning, 6 at noon and 12 at noon and 6 in the afternoon. Let us continue to enjoy not just the rest of this evening's service, but let us anticipate the last two sermons to be preached. And you would understand and you will testify with me that it keeps getting better and better as the night's goes by.
Good evening, everyone. Uh, I, I, I must say um, it's indeed great to be in the house of God, um, to be at Jennings. Um, it's my first time, but I, I won't be long. I was asked to give a testimony of my Christian journey um, with God. Uh, I must say I don't know where to begin, right, because um, it's been so long walking with God. Uh, I mean, I'm young, but I feel like I, I grew up in the church, I must say. Uh, but I got baptized um, in Guyana um, when I was 11 years old. And, uh, but before that, I attended church here in Antigua. I went to the New Bethel SD Academy. I went to New Bethel Church, and I enjoyed the fellowship. I enjoyed the worship. I, I just enjoyed um, learning about God and just being immersed in the presence of God. It, it was just uh, from, from that time to now, it has been a great experience. And I would encourage anybody, anybody to take this step and surrender to God. Commit your life to God. You know, um, but, but even though I, I grew up in the church and I attended um, the church when I was younger, I wasn't baptized as yet. Living in Antigua, I was a child, right? Well, well, nothing is wrong with a child being baptized, but I wasn't baptized as yet. It wasn't until in Guyana that uh, a crusade was held in uh, my village that I was living in at the time, and I, I decided to give my life to Christ. I can remember vividly that when the call was made, I was trembling. You know, my, my, my feet was, was shaking and my heart was just pounding. It was as if I was about to get a heart attack, a arrhythmia, you know. Uh, but, but I believe that was the urge. That was the call of God, you know. Uh, I was, I, there was this uneasy feeling. I couldn't stay in my seat. I had to get up and I had to make the step. And, you know, as a child, I was very timid. I'm still very timid. Right, but um, uh, I, I wasn't about to allow the timidness and the shyness to stop me from giving my life to Christ. And so I made the step. I took those steps to the altar. And I surrendered it all at the altar for God. And I can tell you that from that point forward, my life has been totally different. A totally different person. Uh, and, and I'm not just saying that because... You know, I'm giving a testimony, but truly from my heart, you know, the experience has been great. Uh, the blessings that you receive when you give your life to Christ, you could actually see the difference, the transformation. I, I could remember uh, growing up, I always felt different from my peers. Growing up in class, I, 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 I didn't mix much and associate much with the, with the other students, the other children in my class, because I, I, I thought I didn't fit in. Because of my beliefs, the things that they did, I couldn't do. The songs they listened to, I couldn't listen to. 
the parties they went to, I could, so, so when everybody was having Christmas party, at the end of the year, I did not go to Christmas party because I knew that they would do things that I'm not supposed to do, be doing, that were against my belief. And I chose to stand up for my belief as a young person. Yes, there was peer pressure. Yes, there was a strong influence and a, and a strong urge deep within to try and fit in. But I stood firm. And God rewarded me because, uh, not to boast or, or, or blow my own, my own arm, but I, uh, I excelled in my academics, right? I, I, I achieved great, um, great grades. And I remember vividly, now, now, my journey wasn't all good. It wasn't all um, a bed of roses, as some may say. You know, I had challenges, certain difficulties that I faced along the way. And one of those challenges that is still so profound in my mind was the time when I was in a state of depression. And uh, I was about 14 years old. Uh, about, I was in third form. And as I said, I was achieving great grades and so forth. And uh, I was very active in church. Very active. And my father said to me, Tyrese, this is the stage in your life that the, that the devil will try his best to try and get you to go against God. He will try to turn your mind against God. He will throw everything at you. And I was at a state where I was trying to be perfect. I was trying to keep the commandments of God the best way I could. But, but everything I did, I, I just couldn't seem to be perfect. I was trying to be perfect, a perfectionist, if you may. And uh, every time I made a mistake, I would be angry with myself. And I would feel dis so disappointed in myself that some days I would cry. There were, there were nights when I would just get up in the middle of the night and I would say, Lord... Forgive me. There was a piece of time that I found myself, I was praying every hour, several times per hour in the day. Because I, every time I, I felt like I made a mistake, I sinned, I would pray, asking God for forgiveness. And I would feel this, this sense of unworthiness. Lord, I, did, I don't deserve your love because of my sins, because of my sinful nature, because I'm this filthy person, this, this feeble person, I, I don't know, because of who I am inwardly. But then I, I realized that um, through the study of the word of God, of course, I came to understand that, listen, the Christian journey is, is not a lonely walk. It, it shouldn't be a lonely walk. You're walking with God. Right? And as long as you're walking with God, you ought to rely on God to guide your steps. Right? And I found myself thinking that I was walking this path alone. And that was my most fatal mistake. And for that, looking back, I, 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 I said to myself, listen, listen. I, I, I don't want to make that mistake again, trusting in my own strength. And I would advise anybody, listen, in your times of, of challenges, in your time of despair, do not trust in your own strength. Because our best works is like filthy rocks to God. And this, this, they said I have four minutes. I believe I went over my time, but, but I can't do nothing about that, right? Uh, so, uh, so yes, I, I'm just wrapping up, right? So, so that was one of the, the most profound um, challenges. Uh, but, but through that challenge, I grew in Christ. My, my relationship with Christ was strengthened because I came to trust God. And as Christians, we need to learn to trust God more. Too many times we allow our trials 
to beset us so much so that we forget that we serve a God who is able to deliver us from our suffering. We focus too much on the problem instead of the person that can deliver us from the problem. Turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. So with that being said, I would like to, you know, uh, thank you all for listening. And I hope that the young folks, the young people, uh, they would, those who haven't give the, given their lives to Christ, uh, be sure to give your life to Christ. Do not wait. The, the Bible says, uh, today if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. Right? As soon as you're at an age where you, you're able to comprehend the word of God, you should, you should accept Christ. Thank you. Brother Johnson, Brother Johnson, on behalf of the evangelist, I present you with one of her signed copy, Walking on Water, and the rest of us. Don't be jealous. You can get your copy as well. On the outside, just have your purse or your wallet with you. And remember, as the ushers comes around, remember to put your decision cards in the offering plate. And as they make their way, if you have not been given one, just wave your hands and you will get one quickly. Good evening, everyone. It's offering time. Let the, may the ashes come forth, please. We bow our heads of prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for being our protector during the course of the day. I know we're here again tonight in your courts to hear your words. We're asking that many of us may not be able to preach. Many of us may not be able to teach. Many of us may not be able to um, tell someone about your love and your love and your soon coming in eloquent words but we can give an offering to help to proclaim your words to others within our community so we're just asking you to just bless the offering and that is being presented tonight and may be used to the furtherance of your work in jesus name
God is awesome. What about your God? Is he the same God? Oh, my God is awesome, awesome, awesome. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Let's hold our Bibles in hand together. If you don't have your Bibles, then lift your right hands. By now, I should be seeing Bibles going up everywhere. Let's declare together, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we are in your presence. We are in your presence. Your word is a lamp unto my feet. Your word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. And a light unto my path. Let us bow our heads for prayer. Father, we thank you for this day. You are so awesome. We thank you for your word. You are so awesome. We thank you for your people who've come by here this evening. We thank you for those online. We pray, dear Lord, that you will bless every listener, even those who pass by and hear this word tonight. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Cover us under your blood. Speak to us and speak through us one more time, Holy Spirit. Is our prayer with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. 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 Good we evening, are happy everybody. To be here, we'll come a little closer to you. How's everybody doing this evening? Great. Yes, because we only have two days in Antigua. Good and great days. Amen. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Amen. Amen. I just love your power. Let's see our visitors this evening. Let's see all our visitors this evening, all our guests, all our esteemed guests. Let's see them. All right. I'm just seeing. Okay, okay, all right. It's like we have a visitor right here, and then we have a visitor at the back. And all right. Today, so all our visitors, let's see your let's hands, and our ushers hands. are going to ensure that you feel welcome. Amen. God bless Amen. You. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. So we're going to do a duet sermon tonight. So my husband is up here with me. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening online. <laughs> and even I forgot to tell the reader I would borrow her for this evening. Amen. <laughs> but you still have your mic so you could say amen. 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 We're happy to be here this evening to preach this sermon together. And by God's grace, we know that his spirit is going to move. Amen. For those online, we just want you to know that we appreciate that you take the time to log on to this social media platform so that you can hear the word of God. If you are in Antigua, we invite you to come down to Jennings. I understand that no place is too far in Antigua. And I've, been right. traversing, I've been traversing the place and I realize that the place is not that far. All right, so you can come down. We have one more night and one more day. So we invite you to come down in your numbers as we have a wonderful time in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. And happy birthday to Sister Pierre. Where are you? Looking all sister radiant. Sister Pierre is right <laughs> Amen. God continue to bless you, my sister. Sister Pierre, I had to ask if you were the same person because I, I, I asked the, the, the usher. I said, is that the same lady that was doing the ushering? She said, Yes. I said, oh, she looked totally different. What, what, what word is, is glamour? And somebody said she glam up. She glam up. <laughs> All right, so we, let's put our hands together for us yeah. one more time. God bless you. So I learn a word, you glam up, girl. <laughs> and right in front of her, brother Joseph celebrated his birthday last week, right? Yeah, don't feel, don't, don't, don't go down well, so. Well, well, he, <laughs> Happy belated birthday. He God glam up, you. he glam up too because he have yes. your wife sitting down close to him. Yes, so yes, he glam yes, up yes, yes, in yes. Jesus' name. Thank you all so much for coming, our friends on this side. Thank you so much for coming. All God bless friends, you. Some all saints yes, and those some all saints who are listening, we want to thank you for logging on. So our sermon this evening is entitled, The Gaza Encounter. What is it? The Gaza Encounter. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gaza Strip or symbol Gaza is a narrow piece of land on the eastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea, bordered by Israel to the east and the north, and Egypt to the southwest. With a population of 2 million approximately and 365 square kilometers, Gaza is considered a top-level political unit ranked 
as the third most densely populated in the world. Mm. It is one of the two Palestinian territories together with the West Bank. Gaza is a place as we know of war. Mm. That's right. In Trinidad, there is a place called Gaza. Well, and I don't, I'm hearing that it have here as well. Hmm. If men from a certain place leave where they are and go over to Gaza and you don't belong there, it is trouble. Well, I don't know how the world has been using these names to represent, but one thing we know for sure, when something comes through the Bible, we must pay attention Amen. to it. I remember in the book of Judges, there was this man by the name of Samson. And the Bible says that Samson went down to Gaza to find a harlot. Mm, mercy. Well, have mercy. Mm -hmm. it, it seems to me that everywhere we see the word Gaza, something bad is happening. Well, Are you with me? With you. Right now in the news, we have the word what? Gaza, Gaza is there and we have war fighting in Gaza. Right. But ladies and gentlemen, in spite of all the wars that is taking place, it seems to me that something good should and must come out of Gaza. Okay. Sister Allen, tell us what is taking place in Gaza or what happened in Gaza. So go with us in your Bibles, if you would, to Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8, verse 26. The word of God says, and the angel of the Lord spake unto whom? Mm. Saying what? Arise. And go, and go toward the south unto the way that go it down. from Jerusalem unto Gaza, unto which where? is desert, mm. unto where? Unto Gaza. Is this the same Gaza? Yes, it is the same Gaza. Keep on reading, my sister. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, mm. an eunuch of great authority, under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Verse 29, then the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to this chariot. Mm. And Philip ran Tither to him. Let's pause there to highlight a few points. Tell us, all, sister. Gaza is described in scripture as desert lands. Mm -hmm. right. In other words, it was in Gaza, on desert lands, that the Ethiopian eunuch had his encounter with God. Amen. Uh, but don't miss it, my friends. You may be in a desert place mm -hmm. in your experience. Things may seem a bit dry right now. Mm -hmm. There may be warfare all around you. Mm -hmm. Your family might be in shambles. There might be no money coming in. I could tell you, you might be feeling frustrated. You may be seeing more confusion than resolution. Mm -hmm. More struggle than success. You might even find yourself questioning your purpose in life and what is God's plan for you. But can I tell you this evening tell us this. that the desert place where it can be a place of problems, Amen. but it can also be a place where you find purpose. Amen. Uh, can I tell you this evening that it doesn't matter where you are, God will meet you there. Amen. Uh, can I tell you this evening that sometimes God's will for your life includes a desert experience. Mm, tell us, oh, sister. Praise God. Can I tell you that mm -hmm. sometimes the desert is exactly where God wants you to be? Amen. 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 You may ask why, Sister Allen, you see it is in the desert that we can be separated from the influences and the distraction in the world. Amen. We can be come apart and we can stay a while with God. Mm -hmm. You see, it is in the desert we can stay away from certain types of people who have negative vibes. Mm -hmm. It is in the desert that we can stay away from some things that we've come to learn to depend on instead of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I want you to pause with me and ask Moses. Mm -hmm. It was in the wilderness, in the desert, that he encountered God at the burning bush. Amen. 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 Friends, today I've come by here for such a time as this to encourage somebody within the hearing of my voice that even if you might be going through a desert experience right now, know that God is right there with you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Philip the Evangelist, according to verses 5 and 25, 
work with Peter and John in Samaria. Mm. Preach the word of God there. He also performed miracles according to verse 6 and 7 and verse 8. And there was great joy in the city. Many men and women were baptized according to verse 12. While God was speaking to Philip, God also spoke to the Ethiopian eunuch right. because God is omnipresent. Amen. God is omniscient. Yes. God is omnipotent. Yes. While God is talking to you, God is talking to us. Amen. God speaks to us in various ways. Number one, true visions. That's correct. Are, are you with me, church? Yes. True dreams. I know some persons inside have gotten some dreams and God spoke to them to give your life. This is the time. So God is talking to you. God speaks to us through his word. That's right. Through angels, That's but right. more so through the Holy Ghost. Amen. There are times when nobody speaks to us, but while we are lying in our beds, the Holy Ghost is telling us, you need to do better. Amen. Do, do, do I have a witness, yes. Mr. Yes. Musician? Yes. There are times when we just do something wrong and the Holy Ghost says, I'm here watching you. That's right. There are times when we feel frustrated, the Holy Ghost says, I'm here to strengthen you. Yes. God speaks to us through the Holy Ghost. The same angel of God and the Holy Spirit who directed Philip to Gaza, to where? Gaza. Has directed us to be in Antigua. Yes. I said he has directed us to be in Antigua. Amen. And has directed you to listen to the message tonight. That's Maybe right. you should have been on the next platform. Maybe you should have been somewhere else. But you are right here tonight listening to the word of God. Amen. While God was speaking through the Holy Ghost. He's speaking to you right now. Yes. I said he's speaking to you yes. right now. When God instructed Philip to go to south and to the desert place, the road from Jerusalem down to Gaza, he did not protest. No, sir. No. Hmm. Hmm. One of the reasons why we have almost a full church, well. it is because some persons are protesting against the Holy Ghost. Well. They should have been here. But they are protesting. Well. And, and hear how they are protesting. Mm. I'm busy. Mm. Yes. Uh, Elder Prince, I have no transport. Mm. But if it was something else, they would have found the time, find the transport, move by faith, F-A-T-E, and mm. get where they were going. Yes. Somebody here with me this evening. Yes, sir. But 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 the man learned when, when God instructed Philip, he learned, he learned, he learned to move with obedience. Yes. That's right. He had learned that obedience to God's will is crucial to life. Because your moving will save someone else. Yes. Are you with me this evening? Come on. He had learned that every soul is precious in the eyes of God. He had learned that angels are sent to direct those who are seeking for truth, yes. those who are seeking light. Those who are seeking deliverance to connect with those who can help. I remember Amen. Peter and Cornelius. Mm. If Philip did not obey, well. we do not know how the story would have ended. Mm -hmm. But Praise the God. point is, Hallelujah. Philip obeyed Sister Allen. Tell Amen. us more. So when God says, arise and go, what must we do? Arise, arise and go. It's simple as that, my friends. Trust and obey Amen. for there's no other way to what? be what happy, happy in, in Jesus. Jesus but to trust and obey Praise the Lord. notice my friends that the Ethiopian eunuch is nameless mm -hmm. sometimes you might feel nameless mm -hmm. you might feel as if nobody knows about mm -hmm. you but could I tell you that Jesus knows your name Amen. and that's the most important thing it doesn't matter what they call you mm -hmm. what your name is written in the Lamb's book of life somebody say amen they might Hallelujah. say that girl going there mm -hmm. that woman going there mm -hmm. that's all right if you're nameless what your name is written in the, the Lamb's, Lamb's book, book of, of life, life. Glory amen to the Lord glory so he is nameless. Mm -hmm. But the Bible tells us a critical detail. Mm -hmm. He has great authority. That's right. Mm -hmm. On the Candace, queen of the Ethiopians. Mm -hmm. It tells us he was an important official in charge of all her treasure. treasure. Yes. In all other words, treasure? yes. In other words, mm -hmm. he was not a poor man. Mm -hmm. No. Big shot. It was a big shot. A big shot. Mm -hmm. In other words, can I tell you that big shot people need Jesus? Too? Hallelujah Indeed. to the Lamb of God. Amen. So whether you're a big shot or a small shot, you need Jesus. Amen. Amen. Rich or poor, you need 
Jesus. You see, the only thing that matters at the end of your dash is whether you walked it with Jesus or not. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It doesn't matter your career. It doesn't matter your qualifications. It doesn't matter your status. It doesn't matter your race. It doesn't matter your nationality. All that matters is whether you've accepted Jesus or not. Oh, Amen. Preach, preach, oh. Preach. The eunuch had gone to Jerusalem to worship. And on his way home, he sat in his chariot and read from the book of Isaiah. Mm. Prophecies about Jesus. He was searching for truth. Yes. And verse 30 said, and Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, understand what thou readest. Mm. And verse 31 says, and he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? And church, there are many persons on the outside who are looking for guidance and God has yes. blessed you with truth. Come on. Now. Come on church. Come on. God has blessed you with truth. Get outside and explain to somebody. Yes, yes. How can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Verse 32, the place of the scripture which he read hmm. was this. He was led as a sheep come to the on. slaughter. Come on. And like a lamb dumb before the shearer. Come on. So he opened not his mouth. Verse 33, and we're reading good. In his humiliation, his, in his judgment was taken away. Hmm. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. Hmm. Are you with me this yes. evening? And the eunuch answered Philip. And said, Come on. I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this, mm. of himself or some other man. Well. Then Philip opened his mouth. Come on, let's read together. And, and began, began at the, at the same, same scripture. scripture and, and preached unto, unto him, him. Jesus. Come on, say that again. Jesus. Now it's not the time to you. And preach unto him what? Jesus. Whenever we preach, you must preach what? Jesus. Whenever we preach, you must preach what? Jesus. So Philip preach. Jesus. When you preach Jesus, people are delivered. Amen. When you preach Jesus, Hallelujah. people are satisfied. That's right. The Ethiopian was searching for truth and Philip was able to explain it to him. Amen. Under the guidance of the Holy Ghost and angelic support, Philip, listen, listen, listen to this. Philip preach security mm. detail. <laughs> come on Ken, come on yes, Ken, sir. talk to me, talk yes, to me sir. If you're rich yes. And you're in charge of all the woman's treasure no. Then you're not going to Jerusalem by yourself no, right. sir. You must have a security detail That's right. But Philip breached the security right. detail Can I tell you something? Come when on. you're with God and the Holy Spirit is with you The Holy Spirit can make you invisible Come on now, come on now. Come on now. Whoa. You can be right here yes. And people looking for you and they can't Find you. Well. Can I tell you something? Jesus born and they came right down where in Bethlehem in Egypt and he was right there. They can't find him because God can make I you invisible. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, got up, mm. get into the chariot mm -hmm. and saw the man was reading the book and asked the question. Mm. No, no, no. When you're studying the scriptures, come on. Now Philip had to get inside the chariot. To see what the man was reading. That's right. To ask him the question. Mm. But one thing I want you to know. I want us as Christians. We must learn the scriptures. Amen. So when a man reading something. Yes. And we get there. We could just go down and download and say. God Holy Ghost bring it back up. Yes sir. Because if you don't know you can't address the problem. That's right. So true. So true. So true. Are you with me this evening? Yes. All this was done because salvation was in sight, Sister Allen. Mm. Salvation is urgent. All this happened on the Gaza Strip. That's right. Mm. Don't what miss that point. Strip? I said all this happened when? On the, on the, Gaza, on the Gaza Strip. Gaza strip. Yes. Because truth is important. That's why John 8.32 says, And he shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Amen. If you are searching for truth, you're going to find truth. Mm. That's why Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but through me. There are many persons Amen. who are searching for truth, Sister Allen. Mm. 
But you have come to the right place. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. At the right time. Hallelujah. On the right YouTube channel. Glory come on, God. sister. Darling, for you such a message. time as this. For such a time Amen. as this. Amen. You see, God has allowed our paths to cross for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. He has orchestrated, just as he orchestrated the crossing of the paths of Philip and the eunuch. He has orchestrated the crossing of our paths. Yes. Yeah. So that you can be saved. Hallelujah. For the first few nights I've been preaching Jesus. Amen. I've been declaring the dust saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 36 says, and as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. Mm -hmm. And I had to pause there. Pause, I had to pause there because we read earlier that they were in the desert. desert. <laughs> as we will say, yes. pitch a tent there, my sister. Yes. Come on, pitch a tent there. They were in the desert, mm -hmm. the most unlikely place to find water. Well, hmm. yet they found water. water. Hmm. Don't miss the point. Come mm -hmm. on. You see, God is God on by Himself, oh. and whether you're in the desert or not, if He wants to put water there, nobody can stop it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I tell you in the words of Isaiah 35, 6, that God has promised in the wilderness shall break waters yes. and streams in the desert? That's Hallelujah. right. Amen, amen. So even in the desert, you will not go thirsty because mm -hmm. he is the living water. Hallelujah amen. to the Lamb of God. Amen. Verse 37 and 36, it says, And as they went on their way, let's continue, and they came to a certain water. And the eunuch said, See? Hmm. Here, Here is, is water. water. Mm -hmm. What that hinder me to be baptized? To do what? What that hinder me to be baptized? Mm -hmm. I wish someone here would ask that question tonight. tonight. What that hinder me to, to be, be baptized? baptized? Amen. And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, mm -hmm. thou mayest. Mm -hmm. And he answered and said, I believe that, that Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ is yes, the son, son of, of God. God. Glory. Our brothers and sisters, friends who are listening, can I tell you that that's all you need to know? Hallelujah. That Jesus Christ is the, the son, son of God. God. Amen. Say it again, preacher. You Amen. don't need to know everything. Say you don't need to know from Genesis to Revelation. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know all the prophecies. All you need to do is believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. Hallelujah Amen. to the Lamb of God. Many of us came to this church. Many of us were baptized not knowing all the truth. That's mm -hmm. right. And can I tell you that even after so many years, we, we still, still do not know, know all, all the truth. truth. That's the truth. Not even the scientists know all the truth about what they study. Mm -hmm. Not even the doctors know all the truth about what they study. Not even the lawyers know all the truth about what they study. Who tells you you will know all the truth? You won't. That's right. But come, come just as, as you, you are, are with a little truth that you know, yes. and God will work on it and expand it. Mm -hmm. Glory. Amen. Amen. I just read my Bible, pray every day. That's right. And allow God to guide me through. And step by step, day by day, He teaches me more and more. Oh. And every day with Jesus is sweeter. sweeter than the day before. Glory. That's why the Bible says, that's why the Bible says, God gave us a command that we should go out, go he therefore. Mm -hmm. And do what? And teach all nations. Mm. That's right. Baptizing them in the name of the Father yes. and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you. Mm -hmm. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Yes, and you don't have to know everything. No, mm -hmm. sir. No, sir. When I got baptized, when I got baptized, all I knew. Mm -hmm. Come on now few psalms that my grandmother taught me so, mm. and the sermons that the pastor preached yes. right. and I'm here today, today. Hallelujah. is somebody yes. I ain't no scholar no. but an old lady in the church named Ivor Joseph told me you do your best yes. and, God and God will do, do the rest, rest. Hallelujah. and I have learned from experience <laughs> yes. when God pronounce a blessing upon you nobody, no man nobody. can change you because I've watched nature and realized that the lion is not the strongest in the jungle mm. the lion is not the smartest in Come the jungle on, the lion is not the fastest in the jungle but God says that the lion is the king of the jungle yes. and if God says it that's it amen 
Amen. That circlet, brother Prince. And I'm saying that what God wants us to do is to teach yes. and baptize and learn again. You just got to come in. And we have what we call quarterly. Every quarter you study and we have things in place that you can learn. Yes. And if it's one thing I love about this church, hello, let me put the disclaimer. I know there are some bad nuts. Mm. Mm, I hear you. Sister Allen, give me a little time here. I know there are some crackheads in the church. Well, I know there are some persons who want to separate the church. Well, but what I know is on. God's going to keep his church together. Amen. Are you with me, church? Amen. I say God's going to keep it together. Amen. I know there are some persons who want their own way like Balaam and Judas. But I know that God's going to keep his church together. Amen. I can't fan and keep the place clean. But I read in the scripture that God says that I have a funny my hand mm. and the wheat will stay one way yes, and the chaff yes. will go a next way. Yes, I yes. want you to know brothers and sisters, God going to keep his church. Amen. 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 God is going to keep his church. Yes, no will. matter what, God is going to keep his church. Acts 8, let's continue at verse 38. The word of God says and he commanded the chariot to do what? Stand still. Stand still. Can I just touch this for a moment yes. touch it before I continue? Pitch a tent right there. Exodus 14, 13 records, and Moses said unto the people, mm -hmm. Fear ye not, not. Mm -hmm. stand still, still and see the salvation. salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today for the Egyptians, <laughs> the enemies, mm -hmm. the problems, the situation which you see today, you, you will, will see, see them again no, no more, more tomorrow. Praise the you Lord. see, sometimes, sometimes mm -hmm. we just got to stop. Stand still, yes. hold the chariot, mm -hmm. pause for a moment, mm -hmm. back up a pit, mm -hmm. take some time off mm -hmm. from your busy schedule. Stop long enough to hear Amen. a word from God. Amen, sister. This world is so noisy. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is so busy. Mm -hmm. We are all caught up in the rat race to make it to which line I don't even know. Mm. But we are all caught up in the rat race, so mm. much so that we don't take time mm. to be still and know, and know that he is see, God. Yes. And by so doing, we miss out on our blessings. Mm. When God wanted to speak to you and tell you, you know what? Do so and so today. You missed it. Because you know what you did first thing in the morning? You put mm. on the radio. Mm. That's right. You know what you did first thing in the morning? You went on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. You know what you did first thing in the morning? You went on Facebook. That's right. So you did not stand still to hear that word from God. Amen. Stop that chariot. Stop that chariot. Yes. And just yes. be still. Amen. 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 Let's complete the verse. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. Mm -hmm. And they went down both into the water. Both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. Mm. Yes. He did what? He baptized him. Where did they go? In down down into, into the water. So the this cancels desert. out what? Sprinkling. Yes. In the same desert. In the same desert. Yes. Mm -hmm. There was enough water mm. to in the go same down desert. in the, in the desert. Same desert. Yes. Yes. Mm. Hmm. Verse 39 says, And when they were come up out of the water, mm -hmm. the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, well. and the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way Re rejoicing. Oh, hallelujah. Don't miss hey, this glory. point, my sisters glory. and my brothers. Yes. Baptism is a time of rejoicing. rejoicing. Hallelujah. Luke 15 10 says, Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy there is. in the presence of the angels of God uh -huh. over even one, one sinner mm. that repented. Amen. So, you, yes, you tonight, God and heaven wants to rejoice. Yes. And I want to rejoice with heaven too. Amen. So, I want you to give your heart to Jesus in baptism Amen. so we can rejoice together. Amen. 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 Even as we speak about baptism, let's visit the scene of Jesus' baptism hmm. through our spiritual lens. Go with us to Matthew chapter 3, reading from verse 13 to 17 very quickly. It said, then come at Jesus from Galilee mm -hmm. to Jordan unto John, his cousin, mm -hmm. to be baptized of him. But John forbid him saying, 
I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? Hmm. And verse, he says, and Jesus answering and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for this it becometh to us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, and who? Jesus. Jesus. When he was baptized. So if the only reason you should be baptized is because Jesus was baptized. He's our example. So we should be baptized. Amen. 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 So Alan, I want to pause here. Yes. Right now. Mm. There are some androids who are preaching sermons in some of the churches in the world. That's, I'm giving you truth. Facts. Those online, there are some robots that are preaching. Mm -hmm. Come to church, and the robot is on the screen hmm. preaching to humans hmm. Hmm. for salvation. Hmm. 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 But I don't need to be a scholar hmm. to know that that is wrong. Hmm. Yes. Because the verse is there. And Jesus, hmm. when he was baptized, mm -hmm. don't preach to me if you're not baptized. Come on, follow me, and can't be baptized. Because <laughs> they're robots. And when Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway up out of the water. And the heavens were open unto him. And he saw the spirit descending like a dove and lighting on him. And verse 17 says, and verse 17 says, and lo, a voice from heaven mm. saying this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased Amen. now Jesus could have said that of the Ethiopian eunuch mm. and, 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 and God could say that of his son but he cannot say it of a robot no sir mm. no sir mm. so let me put all of us on alert the day that enter anywhere we are we should reject it mm. follow me somebody Come on. Jesus got baptized, not, not because he was sinful and, and had any, anything to repent of, but to leave us an example. How much more should we who are sinful get baptized? Amen. When we follow Jesus' example and the biblical command to be baptized, God is well pleased and he declares of each name, this is my beloved son. That's right. Or my beloved daughter. Yes. Yes. In right. whom I am, I am well pleased. Well pleased. Notice verse 16 of Matthew says, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up out of the water. The water. Mm -hmm. And verse 39 of Acts 8, When they were come up out of the water. Mm -hmm. Notice the use of the same words, out of mm -hmm. the water. So don't take no water and sprinkle me and say me baptized. Well. Mm -hmm. Are you with me, church? Yes. You see, the word baptism comes from the root word baptizo, mm. which is the Greek, which is the Greek means to immerse mm -hmm. or submerge, yes. to make fully wet, was used to describe clothing that was dipped into dye to change its appearance. In other words, this is not sprinkling. That's right. Mm. That's why we look for a place with much water, mm. like the sea, yes, like the river, mm -hmm. or a pool, plenty mm -hmm. water, so that we could baptize you. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you completely go under mm. and come back up. Amen. Yeah. To rise and walk in newness of life. Right. The biblical practice of baptism by immersion in a similar way that Jesus Christ was baptized by John the Baptist and the Ethiopian eunuch was baptized by Philip is a public ceremony demonstrating that you have accepted Jesus' sacrifice. That's yeah. right. Say that again. Yes. That you accepted Jesus' sacrifice. sacrifice. And you have accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior. Amen. It symbolizes Christ's death and resurrection, mm. which provide the forgiveness of all our sins. Glory. Of how many, my sister? All. all. Keep on reading for us, my sister. Romans 6, 3 to 4 says, Knowing not that so many of us as were baptized unto Jesus Christ were mm -hmm. baptized into his death. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, mm -hmm. that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness, newness of, of life. life. Glory to Yesterday God. I spoke to you about living your best, best life. life. And this speaks about walking in newness of life. 
Put away your old life, mm. what you used to do. That's why we sing the song. Mm. The things I used to do, Hallelujah. I do them, them no, no more. more. The places yes, I, I used to go, go. I, I go there them. no more. The clothes I used to wear, I wear them no more. Because it's a great change, great change since, since I, I was born. born. That's what God wants for each of us. For us to walk in newness, newness of, of life. life. Hallelujah. Colossians 2.12, reading from the English standard that version, I don't know if they have that version there, it says, having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the powerful working of God, mm -hmm. who raised him from the dead. In other words, when we are baptized, we die to sin. sin. And when we get up, from out of the water, we rise, rise in newness, newness of, of life. life. So it's a symbolic kind of experience. We go down saying we die to the old self. Yes. We die to sin. That's we die right. to self. That's and right. we rise up saying we accept God's newness of life. Hallelujah. We accept him as our personal Lord and Savior. And we've chosen to follow him for the rest of our lives. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, when you love somebody... And you decide that you are courting each other mm. because you have intention to be married. Well, I'm sure you that. see how my voice changed. Mm. And I lick my lips. <laughs> then you go out together and you, not, you do not hide the relationship. Yeah. You make it public. Mm. So everyone knows that you are exclusive. In fact, many people go a step further and have an engagement ceremony. Well. Mm. Can I tell you something that I used to do, or we used to do before I was baptized? Well. Not we, mm. but me. Mm. <laughs> Elder Kim. Yes, sir. When you get a woman, mm. and you're driving in Tobago, I'm from Tobago, mm -hmm. you will pass through town on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So my friends will see the woman well, who I'm courting. Well, somebody, you read me, brother. Yes, sir. I have good friends. If she's a, mm. if she's not the right one for me, mm -hmm. well, let me use terms here now. Hey. If she's not the right one for me, Ken, <laughs> yes. somebody will say, uh -uh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. no, Ali, no. <laughs> that's why, young people, when you have relationship, don't hide. That's don't right. Hide. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's right. If I pass through town for a month every Friday where everybody and all my friends are and nobody tell me nothing, then you have a little green light. Amen. Amen. But now when you come to Jesus, you got to pray. Amen. Are, are we together? Mm. As I said, we got, let, let, me, let me go back to the message. In like <laughs> manner, when you love Jesus and you decide to accept him as your personal Lord and Savior and co commit to him, that relationship should be made open and public. Amen. 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 Yes. Baptism is a public declaration of our love for mm. Jesus. Yes. Our faith and obedience to Jesus. Further, it says to the world, I am a sinner saved by grace. By grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, baptism tells others we are serious about our decisions to love, our decision to love Jesus. Amen. To follow Jesus. Yeah. To live for Jesus yes. for the rest of our life. Oh yes, you will make mistakes, but you keep on Walking. Mm, you keep, keep on going, what? Keep going. Walking. Walking. Walking Baptism yes. makes the beginning of an intentional journey of a life deeply changed by the power of God. And, and may I tell those who are going to get baptized, the power of God will take his time and transform you yes. day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year, Sister Allen. Keep on telling us what would happen. Yes, and as we give our lives to God, he continues to transform us. Mm -hmm. Baptism is just a step, part mm. of the journey. It doesn't end there. That's right. It's just like when you get married. The wedding ceremony mm. is just the beginning of a life together. That's mm -hmm. right. Isn't it? That's right. You get married and you have to work on your marriage. That's mm. right. You have to constantly invest in your marriage. You have to constantly go on dates in your marriage. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm giving a little counseling here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to continually tell each other that you love each other. You have to continue to do this. In a similar sense, when you get married to Jesus, Come on you continue to date. Spend some you time continue time. to court. Mm -hmm. That's why the Sabbath is so special. Right. It's a day.
dating experience with Amen. Jesus Amen. that we have every Amen. Sabbath. Amen. Yes? Amen. Amen. And every morning when we wake up and we go on our knees, we tell him we love him. Yes. And by the sun rays that touch our faces, we can know that he loves us Amen. too. By the blessings he gives us, we can know that he loves us too. Mm -hmm. So you can see the marriage experience and the baptism experience flowing in a parallel kind of way. That's right. Verse 40 of Acts 8 declares, But Philip was found at Azotus, and passing through, he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. Mm. Why did we stop at this verse? We stopped here to tell you, friends, that like Philip, we too will soon leave these shores. Well, yeah. And the verse will say, but Natasha and Roger Allen were found in Tobago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We shall soon leave these shores. So, but, but my friends, what is our hope and our desire? Come on. Is like Philip. You will do like the Ethiopian eunuch and give your life to Jesus. Amen. That will give us the greatest joy. Praise mm. God. We told you before that he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. The word of God is true, my friends. To receive salvation, you must believe in Jesus Christ and be baptized. Amen. The Ethiopian eunuch believed and he was baptized. Amen. We encourage you this evening to do the same. Amen. Sister Allen, all this happened on the Gaza Strip. Mm. Yes, sir. The Gaza Strip today, as we know, is about war. Hmm. But I can tell you, despite the bad things that happened on the Gaza Strip, this encounter was a life-changing one. Yes. yes this encounter was positive. You see, where sin abound, Grace. Grace. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Grace. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. There's much more abound. Mm. Right there on the Gaza Strip today, the destiny of men and women, boys and girls are being decided. That's right. Mm. That's right. And the devil. Mm. Right. Very smart. Mm. Yes. As the Rabbi read in Spirit of Prophecy, great controversy. So that in the end time, the devil will come with wars and sweep thousands of people mm. because they are not prepared wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah. for that. Come on, preacher. Imagine those missiles that went down there. Mm -hmm. Mm. Thousands died, not ready. That's mm. right. You cannot say it was the war. Mm. Mm. Come on. We don't know what would happen in Antigua. No. Mm. No. A hurricane could pass and wipe out. You cannot say. Mm -hmm. You had no chance. That's right. Because they were living in a time where they had an opportunity hmm. to give their life to the Lord. All these countries, those Palestinian countries, they know about Jesus more than us. Yes, yeah. sir. Hmm. They have more evidence hmm. more than us. Hmm. Yeah. But the devil moved in, yes. blinded their eyes, elder prince. Mm -hmm. yes. And men and women are just rejecting Jesus. And I've realized, Come on. even in the Caribbean, mm. parents are holding back their children, husbands are holding back their wives, wives are holding back their husbands. If we don't be careful, we become just like them. Mm. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mm. Yesterday, Sister Allen preached about righteousness, exalt a nation. Yeah. We believe because we have a little bit, we confront it. But hello, drama is coming. That's right. And your Gaza Strip may not be guns and bullets, but it may be hurricanes, tornadoes, mm. tsunamis. Your Gaza is coming. Are you prepared for it? Well, can I tell you this evening that everyone will have a Gaza encounter? Mm -hmm. When the word of God will be so clear to you that you only have two choices as the Ethiopian eunuch. Come on. It is either you walk away mm. from God mm. or you say, there is water. What prevents me from being baptized? Mm. Right. That's right, preacher. Tonight, there are only two decisions. Only two. It's either you walk away from God, and I hope you won't. That's right. Or you accept his Jesus. warm embrace mm. and say, I will be baptized 
on Sabbath. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, as I study the Bible, I, there are two words used most times for time in Greek. Hmm. One is chronos and one is kairos. Mm -hmm. As a challenger, we learned this at school. Chronos refers to the chronolog chronological or sequential time, mm -hmm. which is measured by quantity mm -hmm. or quantified. In other words, 60 seconds. Yes. You, you know it. Yeah. One minute. Mm -hmm. Chronos is measured by time. We think of clocks and seconds and minutes and hours, etc. But Kairos, on the other hand, mm. refers to a, pro a time of opportunity. Come on. An opportune season for you to do something. Yes. Mm -hmm. In other words, Kairos is different than Kronos. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody has the same Kronos. That's right. Mm -hmm. But everybody, Kairos is different. That right, is so right. true. My time of opportunity is not yours. Well, talk about that, uh, preacher. Amen. There are times when you can move and there, there, there are some mistakes when you make you will, and, and opportunities, you will never get them again. So true. Mm. That's your Kairos moment. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, when you accept your Kairos moment, can I preach to you tonight? Can I preach to yes, you tonight? Preach Zacchaeus on. Preach on. climbed that tree. That was his Kairos moment That's because right. Jesus was passing once. Hey. Only once. And you gotta position yourself as a young person, as an adult, as an old man or old woman. You gotta position yourself in order to accept Jesus. Position yourself and experience your Kairos moment. That's right. Amen. By God's providence, mm. Joseph went down into Egypt before to save the people. That was his right Kairos moment. Moses delivered God's people. That was his right Kairos Kairos moment. Mm. Esther provided salvation for her people at the right time. That was the Kairos moment. Philip moved with the Ethiopian eunuch to be saved. That was the right time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ethiopian did not wait for a next day. No. Mm. Come on, no. come on. Come on. Yeah. Say amen, no, no, man. no, he did not. Elekin. He yeah. did not wait for the next day. He acted at the right time. His Kairos moment. He acted immediately. He understood the importance of time. Amen. Because listen, listen, listen. I, I think it's Revelation 12, 12 says that the devil is wrought mm. and he has but what? A, A short, short time. time. Mm. Short time. Hmm. He understood urgency. The Ethiopian eunuch understood urgency. As a matter of fact, he stopped the chariot. Hmm. To seize the opportunity. Right now. Hello, 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 hello. Mm. Are you following me online? Yes, I said he stopped the chariot. Yes. In other words, in other words, I, I, I don't know where the water came from. Yes. I don't question it, but there is water there. There what? you go. <laughs> right Let, now. Let's preach reality. Sister Ali, give me one minute, please. Let's preach reality. Mm -hmm. The crusade tent was outside. Yes, sir. We had what we call a storm warning. Mm. There were persons to be baptized on Sabbath, mm -hmm. but there were no tent. Mm. Hello, don't play with the devil. Come on. But because of prayer, mm. it passed over. Yes, mm. sir. Like down in Egypt. <laughs> Glory. Mm. What the devil is trying to do is because the opportunity is here, he's trying to move it away from people. And I'm telling you online who are in Antigua and who's supposed to be here to give your life to Jesus. This is your Kairos moment. This is the time that you need to move because the time yes. may just pass. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. This is the time. Yes. Come on, sister, Alex, speak to us. This is your Kairos. Yes. We've come by here in Antigua for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. And we've come by to give somebody an opportunity to say yes to Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is your moment. Yes. The question is, what will you do with your moment? Mm. Could I give you some advice? Yes, please. Today, if you should hear his voice, harden not to your heart. Mm. Today, if you hear God's Holy Spirit tugging at your heart, say, Lord, I yield. Yes. I yield. Yes. Could I tell you, young people, that there is nothing good out there? Mm. The devil will make it seem good just to keep you there long enough so that your life can be lost. Friends, you are not here this evening 
by chance. No. Mm -hmm. No. You are here by divine providence. Amen. 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 He that repents and be baptized shall be saved. Amen. And I told you before that heaven rejoices mm -hmm. when we get baptized. That's right. On the flip side of that, <laughs> imagine what happens in heaven when you turn your back on God. Heaven laments. Yes. The heart of God bleeds yes. to know that another one of his children mm. has chosen rebellion instead of obedience. Oh, yeah. oh, so sad. This evening I ask, has the word been clear? Yes, it has been. Do you love Jesus with all your heart? Yes. yes. Let me see the hands of those in here who have already been baptized. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hands are going up everywhere. I praise God for you. Yes. And with you. I rejoice with heaven because your name is in the Lamb's book of life. Praise God. But let me speak to those now who did not raise their hands. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you did not raise your hands because you are not yet baptized. Or you did not raise your hand because... I am feeling to raise my hand. Hmm. Or you did not raise your hand because you know that even though you are baptized, you are not living right with God. Hmm. I want to ask you this evening to recommit your life to God. Amen. This is wrapping up time. Yes. We are living, we are dwelling in a grand and awesome time. Could I tell you this evening, yes. there are only two choices. Mm -hmm. It's either you walk away from God or you walk towards God. That's right. I want to invite you to stand with us mm. as the appeal song is sung. Have you counted the cost if your soul should be lost? Ere you gain the whole world as your own. Friends, there is nothing here but doom and gloom. But tonight, I want to invite you to give your life to Jesus. And if you have not yet already done so, this is your Kairos moment. We invite you to come forward. If you know you need to recommit your life to God, we invite you to come forward as the singer sings. There's a line that is drawn mm -hmm. by rejecting the Lord where the call of His Spirit is long. We ask you if you know the song, may you sing along with us. And you hum Have you counted, have you counted the cost? Everybody singing together. Have you counted the cost if your soul should be lost? Somebody's so walking to the altar. Somebody want to say, Jesus, I want you to keep me together. You want Jesus to keep you together. Because salvation is important. Oh, yes, you are not the place where you ought to be. But you just want to raise your hand and say, Father, I need strength. This evening, I'm asking everybody, wherever you are in this congregation, I'm asking you to come forward for prayer. Everybody, you are here. I'm asking you to come forward for prayer. I want to pray with you. I want to pray for you and with you. 
for the glitter of sin. Once you can move, we are asking you to come. Since you could stay where you are with the babies. Once you can move. Once you can move. Have you counted the cost? Come, my sister, come. We're waiting for you. Come. Come, young man, come. Have you counted the cost? If your soul should be lost, though you gain the whole world for your own. Those upstairs, you are coming down. You are coming down. You are coming down. They're coming. That the line you have crossed. Have you counted? Have you counted? Have you counted the cause? So you're waiting on those two persons that are coming. You are sure it's coming. We understand that those who children are sleeping, we understand. Ladies and gentlemen, you are here with us this evening. I know some of us are baptized, some of us are not. But what we want is for everybody mm. to go to heaven. Yes. I want you to say after me, I want to go to heaven. 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 It would not be easy. Mm. We are telling you it would not be easy. Based on the word of God, the word of the Lord said is Matthew, except those days be shortened, mm. no flesh. Yes. No flesh. Mm. No flesh would be saved. All of us here, we are made of, we are flesh. Mm -hmm. No, sir? What Jesus is saying is that the temptations are going to be so strong. The drama is going to be so strong that if we are not anchored and rooted in Jesus, we will not be saved. This is not just for non-Christians. It is for members who are in the church for years. Or sometimes when we are in the church, we, we take things for granted. And sometimes we operate on long service award. We hear for years, so we think we know it. But our experiences are not there with God. Colossians 3, 1 and 2 is not set your affections on things above. Our affections are not on things above. Our affections are thing right here. Oh and we got to give up everything. How many? It's everything we have to give up. Amen. In order to get to heaven. I have already started recalibrating and recalculating my mind that I got to leave everything and I'm doing it one by one. Because the time will come where we can't buy in ourselves. The time will come when authorities or the system will force you to do things against the Bible. There is where we need God. But we got to accept him now. Got to accept him now. We got to accept in when? No. You will make mistakes. Yes, I've made mistakes, but I'm still walking. The ten lepers. I want to talk to you tonight. We're still early. The ten lepers. When Jesus said, go to the priest. Did he say, thou art healed? No. He said, go and show yourself to the priest. While they were walking. While they were what? Wow. Walking, they were healed. With all the infirmities and the challenges and the problems you have. While you continue to walk with God. God will cleanse you. Amen. But you must keep on walking. Okay. Must keep on walking. But in order to walk, you got to give your life to the Lord. That's your first step. Amen. He that believeth and baptize shall be saved. So tonight, you are here. You haven't given your name for baptism as yet. We are asking you to speak to us urgently. 
don't delay. Don't delay. From experience and from reading the word of the Lord, I have seen men and women in the Seventh-day Adventist church gone into accident and die. But listen, whenever I'm saying from experience, whenever they got into an accident, God always gives them a chance to get conscious again before he put them to sleep. That's God's grace. Amen. God is fair. You have been trying. You have been walking. And I've seen men come out of coma and real excited and few days after. But they have been walking with the Lord. And I've seen men who didn't want anything to do with the Lord. One, that's it. One accident. No second chance. But the Lord has been talking to them all the time. There are men and women here, boys and girls, online. God has been talking to you. You need to start your journey with God before it is too late. It's the journey and the while we're going through, we are cleansed. While we are on our way, we are cleansed. Things are going to drop off while you're going. Yes. When I got baptized, I thought I wouldn't make it. I love parties. Drink me little thing. Smoke me little thing. But I'm here today. Because I keep walking. Can I tell you, I baptized the Saturday. And I looked him, someone took out my wallet the Sunday and the four letter came out of my mouth automatically. Because I custom cursing. But I keep on walking. I say I keep on walking. I keep on walking and I'm here today. Amen. Those online, you gotta keep on walking. You're gonna make mistakes along the way, but you got to keep on walking. A man fall at what seven times and what? Get back up. My neighbor always tell me it's not the way you fall, but the power is the getting up and walk again. Amen. Amen. If you are here. And you have never given your life to the Lord. Now is the time. If you are online. And you have never given your life to the Lord. Now is the time. Start that walk with God. Even the thief on the cross. And let me let you know. He was a backslidden member. He knew about God. But God gave him another chance. You don't play that you want to be the thief on the cross. That when you're there, you're now looking to get baptized. He knew the truth and he backslid. Walk with God. And allow God to cleanse you and prepare you for his second coming. Amen. Sister Allen is going to pray to close tonight. And we are asking you. We are asking you if you are here and you have never given your life to the Lord. Sign up. We are having a baptism on Sabbath. Yes. Sign up. Sign Amen. up. Do what? Sign, Sign up. Sign up. Pray for us, Sister Allen. We have distributed some cards, and we hope that everyone has completed those cards. If not, please complete them and give them before you go. Mm. Let us pray everywhere. Father, we come one more time in your awesome presence, thanking you for your awesome love towards us. Yeah. Thanking you for your mercy and your grace. Thanking you for your forgiving power. So even now, dear Lord, we may not be where we ought to be. But we thank you that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us. Amen. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. So Father, even now, I pray for that member who is struggling, who knows that they are not living right with you. I pray that tonight you will trouble them even more so that they will recommit their lives to you totally and continue their walk with you. Amen. I pray for that visitor, someone here who has not yet given their lives to you. Father, you've said it clear in your word. He that believes and is baptized Amen. shall be saved. Mm -hmm. He that believeth not shall be damned. Father, it is so clear. So, Father, I pray this evening that you will give them the strength to say yes to Jesus. 
No matter what their struggle is, let them know that you can help them through their struggles. I pray for that young man, that young woman who is saying, Lord, I want some more time to party. I want some more time to do my thing. I want some more time. Let them know that they have no time except this time. And this time is to give their life to you. Amen. Amen. I pray for that adult who has already lived out most of their lives. What else are you waiting for? Give the rest of your life to Jesus. Amen. Because I found out that falling in love with Jesus is the best thing that you could ever do. Amen. So, Father, I pray for every man, every woman, every teenager, every boy, every girl here this evening. I pray that you will hold them in the palm of their hands, in your hands rather. And I pray that as they go home tonight, you will continue to speak to them. Even if you have to keep them up tonight and wrestle their Lord with them for their salvation. I pray that you'll do it. Because in the end, dear Lord, there is only two parts. One for salvation, one for damnation. Mm. But I pray tonight that everybody here will accept salvation tonight. Yes. And walk out here saying, ah, I'm free at last. Oh, thank God, I'm free at last. Amen. So bless us, protect us, and keep us there, Lord. Seal our decision. To continue to walk with you. And for those who have already decided to be baptized. Seal their decision for baptism I pray. Take us home safely. And bring us back out here tomorrow please God at 7pm. We give you glory and we give you praise for your word tonight. Thank you. And if I fail to ask of you anything. And you see that one of your sons or daughters here stand in need of it. I pray that you'll grant it unto them. Grant them peace in their homes. Grant them peace in their hearts. Grant them peace, dear Lord, to know that with Jesus in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. We thank you for your deliverance. We thank you for victory. And somebody saying, Amen. Somebody saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody saying, glory. Somebody glory. saying, hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody saying, praise the, praise the Lord. Somebody, somebody shouting. Amen. I am delivered. I, I am, am free. free. I will never be the same again. God bless you. I love you. But more than that, Jesus loves you even more than I do. We'll see you tomorrow evening. Touch somebody and say. Shake their hands. Wish them a good wish evening. Wish them well. Give Touch them somebody. some encouragement. And if you have not yet put your name down for baptism, we pray that you will do. Blessings, blessings. Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine. I told Jesus, let me say it on. Victory today is mine, joy is mine, joy is mine, joy today.
Amen. Amen.